Hey guys, let's talk about Iconic Masters and is it worth it? So some time has passed, the initial hype has died down and actually no one's talking about Iconic Masters anymore. It's quite interesting that with so many products and so many places to spend money, November and December, in my opinion, are the best times to buy collections. Everyone is selling because holidays, right? Holiday vacations and travel is expensive. Holidays are very expensive, at least for me personally. But I always save money for the end of year so I can buy other people's collections. I have not bought collections for some time and I haven't really purchased any large Magic the Gathering. So Iconic Masters has to be fantastic for me to say, okay, I'm going to give up my opportunity to buy my friend's collections and open just random value. Now, the hype died down just really, really fast, like surprisingly fast. Uh, it There's not much more, there's not much promotion on this product. I know local game stores are not really doing drafts on it. People are very, you have to buy non-magic gifts, right? For your non-magic friends and families. So December, November, good time to buy collections, maybe bad time to buy Magic Sealed. And I'll talk about the other big sealed product that's coming is Unstable. And which one to buy if you were going to buy any. So we have the Mythics, we have Mana Drain, and then we have Nada. So it's Mana Drain or Bust. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Mythics, but I don't like the fact that there's a $100 Mythic and there is a $2 Mythic. So Mythics are hit or miss out of your box of 24, maybe you get two to four Mythics. Well, if you got, you know, let's say a Nyx list and then channel $6 of Mythics, this is a highly, highly gamble product. Uh, it's for gamblers and not everyone is going to pull value and the majority of you will not pull value. In fact, many of you will cry after you get your channel. I do wish that there was more of an even spread. So unstable, the spread is going to be incredibly even. It's going to be just the land. That being said, the expected value to land has, has to be less than the box value. Otherwise, people will just continue to crack them for the guaranteed land. So I expect the unstable lands to be at a dollar. Maybe the islands are $2 for a long time. And I'll explain. I looked at some data graphs. I looked at the Almond Cat ones. I looked at a lot of the information about the four art lands. And I've come to a conclusion that unstable is actually not worth buying which I will explain in detail in the next video. But we're gonna focus on Iconic Masters. This is a very good time if you wanna buy singles for, even Mana Drain for 100 is not bad. But imagine if there was no Mana Drain in this set. Wow, it would be an awful set. I mean, people would say that it's an awful set, but for the large majority of you who open a box, you will not get a Mana Drain. Uh, and you're gonna get anywhere between 10 to 30 dollars worth of mythic value maybe 40 50 60 if you get lucky and the value may or may not be in the rares so here's the interesting part where we see champion blood gas glimpse magnus thought seas grove cryptic ancestral visions aether vial flusterstorm and canopy these are the only cards that are over the msrp value of ten dollars Meaning if you open a pack and you typically do not see one of them. Now the foils and the commons, we'll talk about Bobble a little later. And Bobble is the big equalizer here. You're not going to make back the value of the pack. Definitely. And that's the retail value of the pack. So talking about buy listing, you can divide these prices by half. And out of that, Grove, Cryptic, Visions, Vial, Storm, and Canopy, they're the only ones that you've broke even at. So overall, it is fascinating. It's something that I would say is not great. There's not a lot of value here in terms of, okay, let's open a box and make money. If you want to draft it, fine. That makes sense to me. Drafting cards means you get additional entertainment value. 
But if you're just cracking these packs and hoping to make back your money, you're not going to. Essentially, the math comes out to be you need mana, you need mana drain. You have to hit mana drain or a very, very good foil. And foils are even more hit or miss, really. But you have to hit mana drain and then you have to hit a bunch of these rares to get to your $240 MSRP box. So at MSRP, definitely not worth it. Uh, no one should be buying this product at MSRP, and to be quite frank, no one, none of your local stores should be selling this at MSRP, just because the expected value is not there. It's very low. The if you do not hit Mana Drain and you don't hit like a very, very expensive foil rare or mythic, you're pretty much screwed. There's nothing left. Like there's literally nothing left as we go down the chain. And we look at all of these rares. I mean, look at the rares in this thing. You have uh, Day of Dragon 24, Crucible of Fire, which used to be an okay speculation, Hypersonic Dragon. You pay $10 for a pack and you pull a Charm Breaker Devil at 20 cents. It's bad. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of this lottery system that we're currently under. I would rather have more equalized value. And equalized value to me means Across the mythics are all pretty good. They're not like amazing mythics, but they're all like decent mythics. There's not like a $4, $3 mythic. And across the rares, at least they're like a dollar, right? Lord of the Pit, I mean, there's not like they knew that these cards would. So they know exactly what the value of these cards will be because it's a simple formula. You multiply it by about 80% of what the current card price is uh, of before the reprint, 80 or 50%. And then that's how you get the value. And the uncommons, you have Bobble at $7. I don't believe that's going to last. It just cannot last with it being, I assume this is going to be printed into Oblivion. Because why not? They So just as other businesses get prepped for the uh, holiday season, Wizard of the Coast is trying to get prepped for the holiday season. And that's really important to note is there trying to push these products on us and trying to sell it and sell but no one has money during holiday i don't i don't know about you guys but like i travel and plane tickets are quite expensive and i just cannot afford to buy magic product that loses value and this is one of them i don't i look at this product and i say to myself who has money to buy this at this point in the, like November, December, right? It's when this, I would assume the selling peak would be. And is this product gonna hold price long-term? The answer to that question is absolutely not. This product will tank into oblivion. How do I know it's gonna be tanking into oblivion? Because if Mana Drain, and let's say that it is, is reprinted again, what does this set really have? You have Canopy Horizon, that's a very expensive land played in some tier two modern decks and then that's it i mean even the commons like there's not like a common like lightning bolt or even brainstorm that if you got in, in foil you'd be like yeah i got it in foil right and it's worth a few dollars there's nothing in this set that makes me like hmm let me spend the 200 dollars to buy this box and hopefully i pull a mana drain if i don't pull mana drain you the potential for me to get retail price. So we're not, when we talk about retail here, if you were to open a box and then buy listed to Star Cities, like it would take, it would take a miracle for you to make back that box, right? So if you went to Channel Fireball, you bought a box, you cracked it, you would need Mana Drain, another really good foil, multiple like cards above $20. You would, you would need like 300, $350 of value and to break, not even to even break even, like it's insane. Like think about what it would cost for you if you went to Channel Fireball or uh, Card Kingdom. Ooh, text, uh, Card Kingdom. How, how much value would you have to pull? You would have to pull so much value to sell that same box that you just bought for 200, 240 and give it back to them in singles, right? It's impossible. Ugh, it's ugly. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.